Hey all, it's Mooch. Welcome to Minding Your Mods episode, uh, whatever it says down there. Mike Vapes recurve box mod, which, boy, is this thing comfortable. Wow. And it's got a great feel to it, a great heft to it. Uh, well, Tofu lists the maximum wattage for this at about 80 watts. But some other people have done some testing, and Mike is sure that it does a lot higher than that. So he sent me one off to test, and what I'm going to be doing is checking how much power it can deliver using Sony VTC5As and Samsung 30T batteries. What I'm going to be doing is using this electronic load set to a resistance. Right now it's set to 0 0.2 and I'm going to go down in 0 0.02 increments uh, down all the way down to 0 0.06 which you should never do. But I'm doing the test to see if it can fire below its 0 0.08 listed minimum. There are no batteries that uh, you can stay below the rating for at 0 0.06 even the, the 30Ts. And we're going to see what power level, which will show up here, it can deliver. Now the battery voltage will show up here. This is going to show me the voltage drop along these cables so I can compensate and add to the power level shown here. Because this electronic load is at the end of this wiring, there's going to be a little bit of power loss through the wiring. And I want to be able to use the measurements from this to add to the wattage here and get you the number that I'll actually be delivered to the atomizer here. But that I'll be dealing with. What I'm going to do is just bang through quickly all these tests. Two tests for each battery. That's why I have four of each. There'll be eight tests. Then I'll just go and do my math and put up a table in the video showing you the wattages. But we'll be able to get a good idea within a couple of watts of what's going on. So let's start with the 30 T's. Yeah, really don't need that cover. And at 0.2 ohms, so this is showing voltage drop for one half of the wire. It has to be doubled for the other half. This shows the battery voltage at the atomizer. This is going to show the power. That's the resistance, and that'll be the amount of current that's flowing. And this will show the voltage that it's reading at this end. What we're in interested in is the wattage there. So at 0.2 ohms with a Samsung 30T and Got about 18 amps, about 65 watts, and I'm going to do two seconds, and I'll do it twice. One, one thousand, two, one thousand. Okay, now let's go to 0.18. One thousand, two, one thousand. About 70 watts. One thousand, two, one thousand. Just below 70 watts, and we go to a different one. Point one six. About 76 watts. About 75, 76 watts of a second one. Oops, we get it. We can do two tests on this. Sorry. So we're going to point one four. About 82 watts. About 81 plus watts. Next battery. Point one two. About 92 watts. About 90 watts. Haha, <laughs> and I keep forgetting it. Two tests. Uh, 0 0.10. About 100 watts. About 97 watts. And the last two tests with the 30T. We'll go 0 0.08, which is the lowest that this is rated for, but they're always going to, you know, if they guarantee 0.08 it can fire, it's, they have to design it to fire something lower than that. I don't know how much lower, but in order to always, with uh, tolerances and manufacturing, slight differences, manufacturing tolerances, excuse me, uh, it'd probably fire at 0.06, never use it at 06 though, but we're going to test it now with the 0.08, 110 watts or so, about 110 watts, and then we'll do a 0.06, just to see if it fires below the 0.08, or if that's an actual limit. About 120 watts, about 115 watts of the second one, and that's it for the 30 T's. Now we're going to do the Sony VTC 5As, starting at 0.2, and. And I found out um, this here 
trying to put that in at the top, I bent some of the plastic tabs up there, so I recommend putting it down unless I'm doing something wrong. And then using the battery across the top. Okay, 0.2 ohms, fresh charge VTC 5A, and about 60 watts, 59 watts, and 0.18. About 62 watts, 60 watts, and for all these, at the high resistances, add 1 watts at 2 watts, at 0 0.06, 0 0.08, add probably about 5 watts. But that's what I'll be finding out with what I read here when I play back the video for me. Okay, 0 0.16. This is 68 watts. About 67 watts. 0.14. 72 watts. 72 watts. You probably add two, three watts to that. We'll go to 0.12. Sorry for the beeping. It's just as annoying right here. About 84 watts. About 83 watts. Now 0.10. About 90 watts. About 89 watts. Again, add uh, two, three watts to that. Now for the last two, and for this you probably add probably about five watts, but I'll find out with the table. And we have 0.08. 92 watts. 90 watts. 0 0.06. That wasn't in all the way, so I'm going to do the 0 0.08 again. That's better. 94, 5, 94 watts. About 95 watts. And 0 0.06. About 102, 103 watts. 102, 103 watts. Okay, so with VTC 5A, we're probably at probably about 107 watts or so. With the Samsung 30Ts, uh, I forgot what the number was already, but probably closer, certainly above 110, probably closer to about 120 watts. But I'm going to go off and do all the math. Okay, I'm back and I have the table. I, oh, that, yeah, I couldn't resist. I wanted to do some thermal imaging of... Uh, this board and how it's just so incredibly tiny the protection board but it ended up being some rewiring and stuff from what i have set up for the mechs and i just didn't want to do that and then put it back for a mech video tomorrow so i'll do some thermal imaging of this as it heats up with a 0.08 ohm load later but this is one beautiful casting just oh <laughs> so on to the results and i'll look at this while i put up the uh, screen capture of the uh, file for you on screen and you can see on um, the left couple of columns for a Samsung 30T power to the coil can go all the way up to 118.2 watts if you're using a 0.8 ohm uh, coil. Now that is over the rating for a Samsung 30T running about 37 amps or so like that so it's not recommended but it, it's up to you, uh, level of risk you want to choose. Now the right two columns, Sony VTC5A battery in the adapter, uh, you can still go up to 100 watts. And both of those are significantly above Wotofo's 80 watt rating. So I think they were looking at something like an LG HE2, or maybe a Samsung 25R. It's a kind of basic battery, um, basic 20 amp battery or, or H, did I say HG2? Uh, something like that and from that you'd be limited probably to 80 watts maximum but use high performance batteries like the 30T or the VTC 5A and you get 100 to 120 watts I recommend not going below 0.08 even if it can handle it it's just not worth it for the abuse and uh, any problems that you might have and that is it for this episode thank you for watching